Audio in sync, all channels, let's do this. This video is going to show you how to route the HTC One. This is specifically for the Sprint variant. This is a thread put together by Big Daddy 619 I spent a good portion of the day organizing bookmarks and getting stuff ready to go so I could prepare to flash my HTC One when I finally got it Monday. But then I see this thread and he takes everything and puts it in one convenient package with instructions and um, I'm going to be posting my video here soon and so let's do this. You're going to want to scroll down until you see root files here and when you click on that it's going to take you to this link right here and you can uh, you know just click download. I can take this MD5, copy it, download and then I use uh, an MD5 verifier just because I like to do that and then I'm going to move it to my desktop and I'm going to press start. This is down the mall. It's a download manager slash optimizer and it works incredibly great. I've been using it since like Firefox 2 beta. It's been a long time. So this is going to download and then that's about done. There we go. It verified the MD5. It does match. If you do not want to use Firefox, you can also go to where did that? Here it is. You can also use this tool called WinMD5Sum, which would put it right there. And then we just paste it and we click compare, and it says that they are the same. So the MD5 is verified. We are good to go there. It says this is a do it yourself root method. By doing this, basic knowledge of CMD Windows, the same method used, unlock your bootloader. We need to go to HTC Dev and we need to unlock. We're going to flash twerp because it's the best recovery out there. And we're going to flash super SU. So we are going to open up this zip that he made. It is a folder inside it. So just drag it right there. And then open it. It opened it on my second monitor. So talk recovery boot images, fast boot, read me first. Uh, open with first thing you should do is install the drivers I include them choose the correct drivers for operating system okay so let's go to the drivers and we have 64 bit so let's double click on that we have not connected the HTC um hmm okay maybe we already have those and or you could install them if you need to an HTC driver I don't know which one that is uh, go to HTC dev which is right here we're going to log in and then we're going to unlock bootloader does he tell you like what uh, get started supported devices choose all other supported models so get started Come on, come on, come on. And then go all the way down here until all other supported mod mod models. Uh, do you wish to continue? Yes. You are avoiding your warranty, and this is going to wipe your phone. That's why I wanted to do this ASAP and get it over with. That way, I didn't have my phone, like, you know, for a long time and a lot of progress, and then I gotta lose everything. So I acknowledge, I acknowledge, proceed to unlock, uh, remove and insert battery. Uh, power key. Hold. Hold down the. Okay, so we need to boot in the bootloader. We're going to power down. And wait for it to turn off all the way. And then we need to hold down the volume down, and the power button, until we see the bootloader. As you can see, my device clearly says locked. I have HBoot 144000000, radio 10020315, and that's it. So we are in bootloader. Uh, we need to highlight fast boot and press the power button. Connect the device to the computer using the USB cable. All right, that's done. Again, this is our very first time. Uh, doing this on this computer it's the first time plugging this phone into any computer for that matter I've just been using the wall charger to charge it 
All right, continue to step five, ADB. All this is included right here. All right, to find these files, we're in SDK. We don't need that because we have all that. Um, next seven, navigate to range the files. And then we're going to type in the command right here. Just copy that head over here we need to hold down the shift button right click and choose open command window here and then we need to paste that press enter there is our token right there we need to copy this mark and then go from here down and it should be copied I verified it is in fact copied it shows you right there identifier token start and then end and then please cut the following message when copying at the end line paste this entire string alright so we need to paste that submit token submitted successfully alright as you can see right there I click here to continue with my bootloader unlock process Oh, right here it says download. So we're going to save that to the desktop. And we're actually going to go to our desktop and we're going to take that and put it inside the root HTC1 sprint folder. We can close this window out. Alright, so we need to copy this command right here. Go back to the command prompt, paste it, enter and it looks like we have done it successfully now let's go over to the phone it's saying yes or no we need to just press volume up and then we need to press the power button alright just taking a minute after you press power Oh, okay this is so far so good again I wanted this so bad so I can install root apps I could restore progress in my need for speed uh, I could you then I can use like programs like game CIH game guardian game killer all those things that modify like you know plants versus zombies you can have like infinite sun infinite in, infinite suns and then etc Alright, so it says, yeah, there we go. Right there, it says hold volume up, press the power button. Um, to relock, it's so simple. Literally, just open up the command window, go to your HTC folder, right click, do that command window here thing, and then with this, just paste and press enter. Don't do it right now, otherwise, all this will be in for nothing. So, yeah, we, we have, um, we have successfully unlocked the bootloader. So, yeah, this is, this is awesome. Very, very awesome. So also inside this folder, it contains super SU, super user, and that's, that's going to be in another video. In the description, when I finish that video, uh, my daughter's going to get home from school, and I've got to edit this. So tomorrow, I will work on getting the video ready, or... Maybe even later today, I don't know if I can get her to be quiet. But I'm going to get a second video going on how to install the custom recovery and also how to root it. So that's going to be a separate video. And if you, if you want to see it, again, links to it will be in the description of the video you're currently watching. As you can see, the phone is 100% stock. We have to install all our apps. We have to connect to our Wi-Fi. We have to, um, I want to connect to the 5 gigahertz, not the 2.4. Oh, I got a link speed of 433 megabits per second with my router. I posted a screenshot on Twitter, and I'll also link to it in the description. I'm going to go ahead and set all this up, and I'll be back. I do want to go ahead and apologize. I didn't have my, when I went up to my phone, I was actually talking to my Zoom H2N, and I, 
of course, was not recording the entire time I was talking. I realized that when I went to stop recording. So you're going to have to hear the audio from the actual Canon for that part of it. I do apologize because right now I'm speaking into my Rode VideoMic Pro plugged directly into my laptop. So not, not the camera because it's a shotgun mic and what I say is directionally like facing towards whatever. You get that. It's a shotgun mic. So the audio's not going to be that great on the parts where I actually went over to the phone. But nonetheless, it's all there. We're going to go ahead and skip all this for now. I am, at least anyway, I'm going to skip that too. Oh, it says you get a 25 gigs. I highly recommend checking uh, the turn on button just in case you lose your phone. I always uncheck that, or I just don't leave it checked. Uh, I did a first setup video that's in much better quality audio wise. Uncheck that, next, finish. And there we go. Oh, first of all, you know how when you first turn your phone on and you have that blink feed thing, you can install Nova Launcher and it'll, when you press the home button, it'll take you right to like your normal desktop like you're used to on Android devices. So I highly recommend installing Nova if you're not a big blink feed fan. I keep reaching for the power button right here. Real quick, I'm going to go in and I'm going to make sure that my bootloader is unlocked. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to get into the bootloader real quick. Hold volume down and the power button. I, well, I showed you how to do that originally, but I'm just going to check and see what it says now. There we go, it says unlocked. It says unlocked. So we can now install custom recovery. We can apply Super SU, and we're pretty much done. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Again, I will have a video tomorrow showing you how to root it and install custom recovery. That'll be a completely separate video, so that way this video isn't like terribly long. And I'll link to both videos in both of the videos in the description. If you're new to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. I've got tons of videos coming. I've got ROMs, etc. that I'm installing this phone. Uh, all my other phones got videos that aren't Android related like installing SSDs and computers and how fast they are and I got tons of other videos coming so please make sure you subscribe you won't regret it this is what would Josh do and I'm out